Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD beta video. So we are on 69.25.1. We just got this update, I think a day or two before we had to trigger it through the car. That's what happens sometimes. So we are going to do a residential loop test today. Let's go ahead and start this up. I am going to change one of the settings. So I normally have FSD or full self driving on a plus five speed limit, but I'm going to change it to zero. So we are do going to do exactly the speed limit that it detects on the street or through the map data. And if you haven't done yet, please go ahead and like my video and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. It will help my channel a lot. All right, so it seems like, I think because we are on a, parked on a snowbank, let's try and accelerate a little bit here. It's got a clear path now in front of it. Let's try to put it, all right, so it's not really. All right, here we go, we've got the symbol. So we'll engage it and comes out of the parking lot. All right. So yeah, the snow, we still have a little bit of snow accumulated on the sides of the road or the street over here. So that's what uh, is probably missing around with its uh, system a little bit. I'll maximize our visual over here. So yeah, uh, very quick weather update. So we have been in a plus or like a thaw mode over here in Calgary, Alberta for the last four or five days, I think. Um, so we are around zero degrees right now. We are reporting minus three degrees Celsius as you can see on the screen over here on the top right So not not it's not like Every day is we have a thaw but every every day or two I think and we we get like a plus five degree or something like that And that's because of the warm winds that are coming from the mountains nearby. So I am expecting uh, since the roads are very clear that we are going to do very good and FSD beta is going to perform very well Maybe a few let's See there's some bike uh, Kids on bikes over here. They it does show up on the visual, but um, you know, they, they weren't really trying to cross or anything So car kept continuing straight without any issues uh, So yeah, I, I'm expecting to have a very good drive should really take this right over here I know there's no lanes over here, but technically cars stop on the left and the right of this uh, small road, so. Okay, so we are going ahead in front of that car, I think. It is not too bad, actually, because, all right, then we are cutting them off now. So that's not very nice from FSD, and we have a little bit of a slowdown here for some reason. We are going to take this exit, probably that's why. All right, so not too bad, yeah, but the car next to me, and you can see it's coming off over here on the right. Very nice left turn here, very smooth. That car behind me was a little bit not happy with the way I was driving, so, or FSD beta was driving, so, and that's that's acceptable. I, I, I agree with that, so. All right, so we're coming up to this intersection over here. We've got a yield. We can still see a lot of snow build up or, or mud or whatever you want to call it on internal roads. So it is going to be a little bit slippery still. Then brake over here. There is a truck coming up from the left side. So it's going to wait for it. And he is signaling to go into the right. So they are going to go in on the right but the car kind of waits just precautionary and i've read from the comments that this is actually uh more acceptable for in terms of um, defensive driving just to make sure that the car is actually not signaling by by mistake and it is actually going to take that turn so and i do agree with that concept it's just the way i drive i think is a little bit less unsafe and that's what i'm used to um I'm going to engage FSD over here just to see how it's going to react with this bus. I should have done that a little bit earlier. But yeah, that bus wants to turn left. And it did it okay. And FSD is getting a little bit too close to that parked car. I really like the way it did that. It So many times it just goes to that uh, uh, turn over there on the road and then gets uh, stops in the middle of the and treats it as an intersection but uh, this time around it did not. So again, performance has to be better in these conditions just cause um, 
Yeah, and this is going to be a little bit difficult. Oh, wow. Okay. And yeah, we're on the opposite lane. It does detect that. This is, that was a little bit of a wonky move, but I feel like it did actually slow down for coming down from that turn or coming down from that uh, intersection because we were kind of like on a on an icy hill, let's say, or an icy patch. And uh, there was a very nice slowdown. So we are turning left over here. I don't know why it likes to do this. This is not a double turning lane. So I might disengage. There's nobody really behind me. This is kind of like a cop out really. I shouldn't really be doing that, but as long as, well, there are cars coming up behind me right now, so I am going to disengage and reposition myself, yeah. All right, so, and now we've got the green light and FSD's on. All right, then we're doing the turn. Not a, you know, I really don't understand why it does that. It does that in snow conditions. It does that in summer conditions. So. So it's good to know that even when the, we don't have snow covering those uh, the, that road, that we that the car is doing similar behavior, even when it does, even when there is snow. So interesting. All right. So yeah, we're going straight ahead now for a kilometer, and then we'll be turning left as usual. So it's deciding to take a right uh, lane over here. I've also noticed this behavior when it's um, in snow-covered conditions. So it doesn't, That's this is another one that we're debunking. It's not because of uh, covered lanes. I think it's probably map data or wrong map data. It always does that. It takes that right lane and then switches back to the left lane. Not sure why. So we are we should be signaling here and then slow down to the turning left lane over here. We'll see how it does. So we've got the flashing green. Nice acceleration here. Follow through for that car in front of us. Does pick the right lane versus the other car that just did the, lane, the turn in front of us. All right, and then we switch lanes. Everything's going as per planned, as per proper driving. Very happy with this. And now we should be coming up to our right turn over here. Nice slow down and an indicator at the same time. A little bit wobbly taking this right turn, but no issues in general. Okay, very good. And now we're coming up to our series of left and right. So yeah, as you can see the road over here, we've got some ice built up in between lanes. So. It's actually not struggling that bad with it. It's always a hit or miss with this. Um, so it comes to a complete stop. It's actually very clear on the left and the right, so should be able to go. Nice smooth acceleration, nothing too crazy. Kind of drives over that snow bank and then we don't slow down for that hump. And then a slow down for this turn. Nicely executed. Then we should be coming up to this left turn over here. Does widen up nicely over here for it. What? That's sliding a little bit. It's going a little bit too fast for that turn, but I'll uh, I'll let it do it. It's okay. Ooh, and we have a garbage truck over here, so I am going to actually spin around very quickly for this. Then plug in our last destination. I just don't want to interfere with that uh, recycling truck over there. So we're coming up to a slowdown over here. As you can see, there's always bushes on our left for this turn. It's occluded, but there's no traffic. So we're being very lucky over here. I think a lot of folks are still on vacation um, from the holidays over here. So not much activity, not a lot of people driving around. People are taking it slow. All right, so clear on the left and the right nice acceleration nothing to complain about we're coming up to this hump over here no slowdown at all for it 
we are driving at 35 for this turn slowing down to 20 all right very good we might struggle a little bit over here we've got a lot of sunshine actually it's not too bad it tends to get a little bit too close to the sidewalk on this street for some reason sees a scar uh, a, a car so then it uh, avoids it Ooh, a very nice positioning here for this left turn really like that i'm going to come to a complete stop and then we've got a lot of traffic coming in left and right so i'm going to stop all right let's engage so yeah i think it's treating this as a median so it wants to stop in the middle of that uh intersection i'm not gonna let it do that there's not much space you know for that this is not a a chuck's left unprotected left turn over here so um yeah um interested to know what your thoughts are about that like should i let it go and stop in the middle of the intersection yeah it should be taking this right over here a little bit late for that and then it's coming to a complete stop here it shouldn't really do that it's a yield all right, then let's see if it merges here. Come on, should be able to do that. Okay, a little bit late on the merge, but I'll take it. Okay, yeah, not too bad. <clears throat> so far, it's a little bit of a roller coaster. Um, internal roads, it should be able to detect that it needs to be slowing down a little bit more for that than, you know, just following the speed limit. I don't typically drive at speed limit on internal roads so yeah and then on that intersection not really sure what's the this like the the logic behind that decision for that commit um it's very weird uh, uh, my my only interpretation is that it wants to stop in the middle of the intersection at that tiny median that we have there um so yeah and i i i don't don't want to allow it i might i might try and be if i ha if it was a little bit more courageous i would probably let it let it go through and see what what it does but at the same time uh, i don't think it's a good idea um yeah so yeah i disengaged on that we'll we'll try and test that next time and see how it does that uh turn again and if um it normally waits for traffic on the incoming from the right hand side for it to for them to pass and then it kind of does that so interesting yeah all right so i think that was our first disengagement let's see how it goes all right so we're coming up to our right turn over here signals and enters this right turning lane over here waits for that car there's another car it stops awesome very good and start going wow okay a lot of confidence there i have a lot of confidence with it that was a really good really good yield situation i i rarely get that um I, i've you know it yielded before for for a bus but you know not fast fast driving cars like that um and yeah that bus was coming in from from the from the front i guess or the it wasn't coming in from the left where it's very difficult for it to spot those uh spot that area so very happy with that um that was very spot on spot on spot on yeah very good okay so we're coming up to a stop here and should be able to go very quick interaction for this it usually does this very very well but then gets confused here a little bit and you can see there's a little bit of hesitancy right now and then it's like oh well we don't know if it's a two lane or it's kind of a weird road over here it kind of like gets wider and it's a single lane so i don't really you know uh, i don't really blame fsd better for a little bit of uh, caught being cautious sways a little bit right for that car because it's kind of driving on the yellow lane over there and this is uh, we're coming up to our last uh, turn over here so yeah we'll see how it does, it does this if there's any incoming traffic anywhere uh no cars oh there's one car coming in from the left i can see from far away and it should really stop for that car to be honest oh that car is like kind of stopping itself and turning into a house so that's okay very nice and just waited 
precautionary for that car and it uh, uh, and it proceeded very nice very nice execution that was that was handled well that last turn as well it kind of gets confused on that one too so thanks everyone for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you like to follow my videos and you want to see more content and uh, like my video please it'll help me a lot it'll help the algorithm on the YouTube as well a lot to uh, get my get my channel more views so thanks everyone and have a nice day